Whoa! So I've been messing around with the new Minecraft snapshot, and let me just tell you, this is the coolest update Minecraft has ever ever gotten. And reminder, this is vanilla Minecraft. There are no mods in this video. There have already been some really cool creations floating around, like this working piano made by Roko, or this realistic physics plugin by Patbox. But let me show you the things Quipla and I made. This video is sponsored by Pixelmon, downloaded from the link in the description. So if you haven't seen this yet, the number one biggest thing Moyang added is the display block entity. But these on their own aren't super cool. We could already do this with the falling sand block. What you can do with these is change their animation. So you see, if I press this one, we can squish it into a little half slab. And then if we press this one, diamond block vertical half slab, even easier. See, we don't need my like eight minute video for that. You can just do one command right here. But if you think that's cool, why don't we try inverting it and giving it a negative size? And now we get whatever this is, but it doesn't stop there. What if we stretch it really thin and all the way up to the sky, making a diamond block beacon that goes up forever? You can see if I get real close, let me, let me zoom in. There's a little tiny, a little tiny diamond block on the bottom. Oh yeah, they also added this dark theme UI, which is fantastic. But if you think it stops there, wait till I click this button. <laughs> the biggest diamond block you've ever seen. I punch it. But it's not just the blocks themselves that are cool, it's what you can do with the blocks that's cool. Let's start off with the basics. If I summon a bunch of blocks like this in this order, so we have a sand block and then we have some other stuff on the sides right there. If I change their animations to shrink, we can make a multi-sided block that people have wanted in Minecraft for a very long time. You can literally do any type of block you want. You know what? Okay, I changed them. Let's clear these. Make new ones. Oh, what an interesting normal block of diamond ore that totally isn't secretly TNT on the other side. Oh, the things I'm gonna do with this update in the future. <laughs> What's another block people have wanted in Minecraft since the beginning of time? Well, I would say the perfect 45 degree ramp. And now, of course, you have to actually use stairs underneath because these don't have collisions, but it looks and functions perfect. Welcome to my farm. We have grass and dirt slabs. I wanna plant some stuff. Let's see what I'm growing here. Very cool. Oh, we missed one. Let's plant, what are we gonna plant there? Try some TNT, look at that. Okay, there we go. This one looks like Squidward. Take that, automatic farm YouTubers. I never need to make another farm again. But if you think those are cool, just wait until you see the new pistons that they've added. People for a long time have wanted pistons that extend more than one block, right? Well, what about a piston that extends five blocks? <laughs> Let me just put a block here. Oh yeah, there's a lot you can do with this. Put some dogs there. Oh, was that piston not good enough for you? What about a vertical one? You like vertical pistons? They're pretty cool. Everything I've just shown you is the very basics. Think of it like this piston right here. And think of what I'm about to show you as everything that uses a piston over here. This is our fully working elevator in vanilla Minecraft. But first I need to thank the sponsor that made this video possible. Minecraft is a fantastic game, but you know what makes it better? Pokemon. Pixelmon is an incredible Minecraft mod that adds over 900 different Pokemon to the game, and it even works on multiplayer too. Pixelmon recently added boss fights and tournaments with real life cash prizes, and all you need to do to play the game today is download the launcher from the description on Windows or Mac. Not only can you battle with your friends, but Pixelmon also has things like built-in voice chat, wearable costumes, and dance emotes implemented as well. And as a bonus for everyone who uses the link below, if you type slash Mysticat in game, you'll get this neat little free limited edition backpack to help you carry more things. So that's pretty neat. Download Pixelmon today. This is our fully working elevator in vanilla Minecraft. We'll use this button to call down the elevator and open the door. Although I must prefer these new buttons I've made, which look like this. We'll press this to go up a floor. Ooh. Nice. Door opens, we're at the top. We can watch it go back down. Let me prove to you that it's not some weird trick. Let's get a pig. Whoops. Let's call down the elevator. Let's put him in here. Hello, sir. What floor would you like to go to? All right. Going up. Any number of players in here will fit. Oh, he walked out. No. Any amount of entities in here will come up with this. Although he's kind of <laughs> lagging behind. But oh. I think he wanted to go up another floor. Now this one was really cool, but I've got so much more to show you still. Oh no, someone left my front door open. 
Let me close that real quick. There we go. No touch. What did Quibla put here? What was that? My house! <laughs> no! My house is on fire! Now, everyone's seen these old laser doors before. They're nothing new. You can't walk through them when they're red, but when you flip the lever, they're green. You can walk through, but eh, that's boring. It's boring. I'm gonna do something way cooler than that. So instead, I made a realistic working laser door. We turn it on. It actually kind of looks like it's from Roblox, but if you try to walk through it, you get electrocuted and zapped until you're gone. And then if we turn it off, we can walk back through. Turn it back on. Very cool. Works well. I love it. This is such a cool update. But now here. Here we have the classic. The Minecraft clickbait thumbnail is no longer clickbait. It is real. It is in vanilla Minecraft. And you can use it. It is, exists. And it's not clickbait. Oh, I can fit so many diamonds down here. Look at all my diamonds. I'm rich. You know what else people have wanted for a long time in Minecraft? A fully functioning windmill tower. And by fully functioning, I mean if I get some seeds and I walk in here and I drop them into the windmill grinder, it produces some sugar. Look at that. And if we go to the command blocks and change the speed. Yo! <laughs> oh, it stopped. Yo! Wait, I know what to do. Let's head on over to our castle. Which, by the way, if you haven't seen this before, that means you don't follow me on Twitch. You see, I used to think my design for a three high working castle game was super cool. But now, my personal favorite by far is this door. Now, what it is, is that if I get a bow and I shoot the target, our working drawbridge will come down. Let us walk through. It actually has collision. We'll walk through into my throne. Here's my little castle. I live here. Hello. Then we can go back out. Maybe we'll ride our horse across. And then we can shoot our target and close our gate back up. I'd love, I'd love this. I love this. My most popular video ever was about making a circle in vanilla Minecraft. So I figured why not try again, but with the new entities. <laughs> Lick the lever until it goes around. Break it, click the button. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at that. <gasps> Look at that. <laughs> Let me just show you how many commands it takes to do all this stuff, just so you can kind of understand what goes into these. Back here is the castle gate, which is actually pretty small looking at it. And here's the elevator, which was definitely the biggest project we did. Like 90% of the videos on this channel are about doing stuff in vanilla Minecraft with no mods. This updates like literally feels made for me. And speaking of my other videos, why don't you subscribe and check this one out next? Um...